Hi there folks, my name is NovaWing24 and welcome to the Nova Wrap, your one-stop location for all your simulation release news and goings on from the week that was. Alrighty folks, so here we are once again on Sunday the 26th of March 2017 for another exploration into the latest releases in the simulation world and we're going to get started this week with one I missed last week. I am really sorry I missed this one, um, particularly because it's actually one of my like favourite developers. I like these guys because they do weird and wonderful stuff. Uh, so this is from Golden Age Simulations. This is the Ryan B5 Brougham. Now, um, it, if you look at it, you may be forgiven for thinking that you're looking at a um, sort of, you know, a Spirit of St. Louis kind of copy. And that's because, you know, it is a very similar sort of um, aircraft to, the, the, to the, that most famous um, of uh, record-setting aircraft. Now this one is um, covers the um, range of the aircraft, um, including a variety of different versions of it. This is pr primarily focuses on the uh, the B5 variant. Uh, although the series did include um, the the B1, the B3, and the B7, this one does focus on the B5, which is the uh, the most commonly produced one. Um, and again, it's this classic aircraft out of the the 20s and 30s, um, with that, that sort of very pioneering age of aviation feel to it. Uh, it does have a, uh, a reasonably spacious cabin. Of for the time uh, and comes with a variety of versions including um, a wheeled variant, a ski variant and of course a float plane variant as well. Uh, it gives you a whole stack of uh, liveries uh, for ones that were actually uh, that were actually both in service and some fictional ones as well, so you know, there's a few what ifs ones which are kind of cool. And you can also um, choose some interior options versus whether you're carrying passengers or cargo in the far northwest territories. Uh, again, uh, one of the things that we've come to expect from the guys over at Golden Age Simulator some beautifully, beautifully high quality detailed 3D model both inside and out as well as a beautifully modelled and detailed uh, right J69, J6-9 engine. Um, the, the, the engine is it's just so iconic and distinctive with the way it's actually set up. It's really, really cool. Um, again, beautiful uh, textures as well on that, so uh, always a wonderful to see from the guys over at Golden Age Simulations. They always do good solid work. Um, I know their stuff can be a little bit you know, frame heavy um, and sort of you know packet intensive in multiplayer, but for the, the, the regions of aviation that they explore with some of the, uh, the more unusual usual classic aircraft um, that these guys specialize in it's it's always worth a, a look and worth picking up so this is this one's available over at the golden age uh, website uh, coming in at 25 US dollars or your original equivalent available now Alrighty, and moving on to releases for this actual week this week um, not a huge amount coming out for um in fact, I actually really couldn't find anything coming out for the, the ESP world. So we're going to move on into the X-Plane world um, for a couple of releases this week. Um, so for those who are, uh, of course, you're know, using for the X-Plane 11, uh, just a FYI, it's uh, updated to the latest beta candidate, uh, which is apparently going to be one of the last, if not the last, before release candidate comes out. So we're getting a lot closer to a full X-Plane 11 release. But anyway, um, we've got a couple of releases coming out. So we saw this week from Caronado, we saw them release release their uh, E50P Phenom 100 come out. Now, of course, this has been out for F6 and P3D for quite some time. Uh, has now made it made its way across onto the X-Plane world. Now, normally I'm a real big fan. Like, I, I like Carinado products. I really do. But I've had some insider information from a, uh, a user who's actually picked this one up. Um, so, from uh, yeah, a YouTuber, Belgeode, um, who's featured on this channel a few times. And... To say that he's disappointed with it is an understatement. Um, it is, like, I, on the surface, it looks very, very good, very, very nice, um, as we always expect from Carinado. Uh, but apparently, the flight systems don't work so well at the moment. They really don't. Uh, it's basically, apparently, not working. Um, the, the G1000 system that's in there doesn't work uh, properly. It doesn't produce uh, most of the things it's supposed to produce. Uh, you can't plan a flight plan uh, into the uh, into the actual aircraft. You can't use it using the G1000 from Carinado. You can't even use it. You do it using the default uh, X-Plane avionics. Um, and the frame rates are absolutely horrendous. So apparently it's actually not done so well. And in a massive uh, faux pas, uh, the actual manual tells you to load the flight plan using the default FSX, uh, uh, FSX flight planner. Yeah, not so good to suggest to go to another sim to do your flight planning. 
you know, from the one you're flying in the next plane. Yeah, that's not so good, so guys. So hopefully we'll see a patch for that come out very, very shortly. Um, and I'm popping up on a couple of forums and seeing that he's not the only one who's having these issues. So yeah, a little bit disappointing, guys, Carinado. Um kind of expect you guys to do a lot better than that. But anyway, um, if you do want to take a chance on it, uh, it is available now directly from Carinado, coming in at 38 uh, US dollars or your regional equivalent available now, and I'm sure we'll be seeing it uh, coming out across uh, the other flight simulation retailer stores very shortly as well. Uh, but in terms of what the Carinado are pushing for it, it is a customised G1000 Prodigy glass cockpit system um, with full train awareness mode, uh, apparently when it actually works. Um, uh, and it has been updated to make a lot more, uh, take it a lot more advantage of the um, PBR and HDR lighting uh, that comes with as part of uh, um, X Plane 10, uh, uh, sorry, X Plane 11. So it's good to see and uh, the HD textures as we're used to seeing. So yes, if you do want to take a risk, you can pick it up now. Otherwise, maybe wait till they patch it before you pick it up. But yes, uh, if there's anybody else out there who's got this, I'd love to hear from you and your experiences. As I said, I, I'm basing it off a couple of forum posts um, I'm seeing over at uh, explain.org and a couple of forum posts um, and uh, conversations with Belgiot and a few other users who've got it. So I'd love to hear your responses as well. But if you do want to take a chance, as I said, available now from Carinado. All right, in other X Plane release news, um, this one is looking absolutely gorgeous. This one is. Um, so this is the Pipstrel Panthera version three. Um, so this is um, an update for this one, and looking absolutely stunning. It really is. Um, so this one uh, comes from. Um, uh, Aerobusk, uh, so producer of a few other uh, really cool X-Plane uh, add-ons as well. Now this aircraft is a it's a, it's, it's, an, it's an air of, uh, it's a, it's an interesting aircraft uh, from the uh, from Pipstrel, uh, which is a Slovenian company. Um, primarily they make ultralights and gliders, um, and you can really tell that design influence uh, in the Panthera. You really can. So this one is uh, equipped with a 260, 260 horsepower Lycoming uh, IO 5540V. It's got an in-house coded by Aerobusk, um, GTN 750 and 650, so props to you guys for doing a full coding of this, like that thing's uh, awesome. Um, a lot of beautiful comms, uh, like it's designed to work if you do play um, you know, multiplayer with IVAO, um, that's him, and Pilot Edge as well, which is cool. Um, beautifully, beautifully modelled, um, looking amazing, uh, it's just... It just looks stunning. Uh, incredibly detailed flight model, model and uh, 3D model as well, um, complete with rain and uh, rain and graphic and sound effects and a beautiful set of engine sounds for that beautiful Lycoming engine as well. So, looking absolutely stunning. And for 35 bucks for a GA, a modern GA aircraft like this, is looking pretty damn beautiful. It really is. Um, so yes, uh, available now um, over at the uh, over at uh, the X Plane store. Um, it would. Yeah, as I said, if you're thinking, if you like your GA aircraft, I think this is definitely one to look at. I, I'm getting more and more tempted to switch over to X-Plane sometimes, I really am. So yeah, looking absolutely amazing for this one. Available now, as I said, 35 US dollars or your original equivalent available now. All right, so that uh, wraps up the simul the uh, the flight simulator releases this week. So we're going to move away from the flight simulation world, but we're going to move away from it a little bit. Um, so we're going to uh, move uh, on to. So we saw. Um uh, we, we, we uh, I mentioned last week the sort of re-release of uh, the release slash re-release uh, was it last week or week before of Tower 3D Pro, um, so from Field Air Simulations. Uh, so this is their beautiful their, their Tower Simulator. They've had it out for a while. They finally got around to releasing their professional version of it. And I mentioned that um, when they released it on Steam, um, the fact that it was it was noticeably absent any of the um, add-on DLC or uh, add-on airports for it were noticeably. Um, uh, missing from their Steam store, and there was sort of a lot of confusion about whether or not the third-party add-ons would work with the Steam version. I think we've got our answer because we now have the um, the, the New York uh, J uh, Kennedy um, Airport, so uh, KJFK has been released on Steam as Steam DLC for uh, Tower 3D Pro. Uh, no, it doesn't seem to have been released for the normal Tower 3D version, which is also on Steam. Just seems to just be for the Pro version. Uh, coming in uh, cheaper, uh, significantly cheaper than uh, the ones that are available direct from Field there, which is interesting as well. Uh, plus on a launch promotion. But yes, if you are a, um, a user of Tower 3D Pro on Steam and you do want to uh, expand your airports, uh, you can't go wrong with this beautiful rendition um, of uh, Kennedy Airport. It's just, yeah, John F. Kennedy. It's just it's an amazing airport. It really is. Uh, so yeah, uh, this one's available. Coming in uh, normally 20 US dollars. Uh, coming in on a launch special uh, for the first week at uh, for 17 US dollars available now on Steam. 
All right, now moving completely away from the flight simulation world and moving into something completely different this time, into the world of sports simulators. So we saw a couple of, cl of um, sports management simulators come out this week. So the first one we saw was Club Manager 2017. Um, now look, I I'm gonna I'm gonna be fairly brief with this one because um, club like team management games don't really do anything for me. I always I will still cover them when they when they release, but these kind of simulations they don't really do anything for me. I don't play them. Not really hugely interested in them. Uh, but basically, this is just another uh, another one of the um, uh, the football manager scenarios. So this is Club Manager 2017. Uh, it gives you a uh, primarily it is uh, based of the uh, it's primarily for the German league, uh, but uh, there are four international leagues available um, with this one as well, which is kind of cool, um, including championships in over 200 countries. So you yeah, guys, yeah, multinational leagues, so it's kind of cool, kind of good. Um, you've got a huge uh, amount of detail you can go into, so you can actually go into contract negotiations, um, how often, how hard you train your team and your players. Um, you can go through uh, with you know what you do with you know prices of tickets. Sponsors, sponsor deals, merchandising deals. Um, you can actually go through the different aims and goals that you actually get as a manager of the club, as set, you know, set by the board and controlled by the board of directors. And this is a lot of detail in here as well. Like there is, there is a lot of detail that goes into here. Um, you can transfer players, you know, sell them to other clubs and stuff like that. So. There's a lot of very interesting stuff that goes in here. Um, you know, encourages you to make events and things like that to go for there. So it's really, really cool, really interesting. A lot of deep detail going here, including things like, including. Kind of small, but I, I kind of like this because I always like this kind of attention to detail stuff. You can actually design like the the player jerseys, the kit that it has. Like you can actually go into that kind of detail with it. Um, look, graphically, it's you know as I said, it's primarily a management game, so you know you're going to be looking at spreadsheets and stats a lot more than you're going to be looking at three beautiful 3D visuals. Uh, but still, overall, not looking too bad. So if this does tickle your um, tickle your fancy, uh, it is available now. Uh, Thirty US dollars or your original equivalent available now on. Steam. Now, in the other sports management simulator uh, sim uh, simulator release this week, we saw out of the past out of the park baseball eighteen. Now, I remember covering seventeen when it launched last year, and it's just I, I had a quick flick over that video, and honestly, it hasn't really changed much. It it it, it really doesn't seem to have changed much. Um, basically, they've sort of added in. Um, uh, a, a sort of thing where they can actually go, where you can actually submit your player profile online, so you can actually track yourself against other players online. Um, that seems to be kind of the only new thing that's really sort of put in there. Um, they've sort of updated the 3D mode for when you actually sort of you know, watch the actual game actually take place. Um, otherwise, it's the same kind of stuff there. Um, you've got the, the standard uh, historical or fictional um, leagues that you can com create and compete in. Um, promotion fields go through, uh, you know, uh, yeah, players trading and stuff like that. It's, it's the same stuff. It hasn't really changed. Um, if this is for you, have a look at it. Uh, it is available now on Steam for the updated version. Um, so as I said, uh, coming in at forty US dollars or your original code available on Steam. Uh, no information if there is a um, discount for those of you who are updating from previous versions. Um, I'm going to say from the look of it, probably not, um, but yes, there you go, If hopefully for those of you who do have uh, 17, you can get a, a discount, if not, yeah, well, sucks for you. Uh, but as I said, if you are interested in wanting to pick it up, coming in, 40 US dollars or your original equivalent, available now on Steam. Alright, moving away from the sporting world now and moving on to um, other simulators this week and moving into the world of the permanent way. So this one's an, a cool little simulator. Okay, so um, Train Mechanic Simulator 2017. So this is brought to you by the same team that bought, uh, brought you um, Car Mechanic Simulator and brought you uh, Farming Vehicle Simulator, uh, mechanic, Farming Vehicle Mechanic Simulator. You know, it's, look, it's a, it's a cool little idea. I like this I, I I actually like this type of thing because you actually learn a lot about what goes into these vehicles and things that we see every day. And this is what I like about that. You can actually go through it's it's like a basically they're like, they're like a puzzle simulator. They really are. Like it's a bit like putting stuff together. Um and this is what you get with this one. Uh, so you've got uh, nine different types of train in, tra trains are included here, including variants of steam, electric and diesel types of trains. Um, you've got three different um, workshops 
uh, that you can open up and work in um, with over a thousand parts to actually sort of you know, manipulate, repair, sell, improve, whatever. Um, and you've also got 25 kil um, kilometers um, of uh, over 25 kilometers of actual uh, railways to actually go through and actually test, take your trains out for a uh, a um, a drive, um, or you can crash them up to you um, if you don't repair them properly. Um, and yeah, it looks kind of cool and kind of interesting. As I said. I like these mechanics simulators because I never used to think I was going to like them and then after playing car mechanic simulator for a while I actually like them because you learn a lot about this stuff um, and train mechanic train mechanic simulator is no different from that so if you are a, a train enthusiast and you've got you know your train simulators and and you've been enjoying those this might be cool because you actually now get to see how those trains that you've been driving around in those simulators for ages actually go together. This could actually be a really cool little, you know, casual title for you. So yeah, highly recommend this one already. As it well, I haven't played it yet, um, but based on my experience with Car Mechanic Simulator, I would recommend it, I think. So yeah, there you go. Anyway, so this one's available coming in at 15 US dollars um, or a launch special to the end of March at uh, 12 US dollars or your original equivalent available now on Steam. Alrighty, so sticking um, with uh, ground transportation at the moment and moving on to some other simulators. So the guys over at Aerosoft have released um, their first piece of DLC for their Fernbus Coach Simulator. Uh, so they've released a, uh, a new vehicle, the uh, Neoplan Skyliner. So this is a, a luxury real-world coach, um, which I've seen a few of these kicking around. Uh, basically, it's a, it's a, it's a two-deck uh, coach um, with uh, the uh, lifting system uh, for yeah, for um, for wheelchairs and the like, um, including yeah, yeah, on board toilets, all sorts of fun stuff. Um, really good long distance uh, coach, uh, coach as well. This one is very popular with tourists. Um, so yeah, very interesting with the double deck design. Um, uh, in the official Flix bus design. So it actually is uh, officially licensed from these guys. Um, looking absolutely amazing. Includes seven other uh, uh, various different liveries included with this one as well. Um, interactive actual driving cab as well. Looking amazing. Um, full driving monitoring including navigation and rear view cameras um, beautifully uh, realized lighting system um, driver windows actually work stuff like that and uh, a full repaint kit available so I always like it when repaint kits are available as I said um, this is an expansion uh, for the uh, in place uh, fern bus simulator looking quite nice uh, something for you to uh, something new for you to drive around uh, Europe in coming in for 15 US dollars possibly a bit exy and not sure and not really sure how the uh, as it's their first piece of DLC for this sim uh, so 15 US dollars for this one available now um, either from Aerosoft if you have the non Steam edition or from Steam uh, if you do have the Steam edition version available now Alrighty, and continuing on at ground level uh, we saw the release of Drift Horizon Online so uh, this is a an interesting one. So yeah, I haven't really seen like a drift type simulator for a while. Um, this is basically a, a look. I look. I'm going to throw this out there and say basically this is um, uh, for those who might remember like Need for Speed, like ten, you know, seven or eight years ago. This is basically that with slightly improved graphics. Um, it's very arcadey. It barely stretches into the simulation sort of genre, but it is very arcadey, very cheesy, but kind of cool. If you're looking for something to just blow a bit of time on and not really, you know, sort of worry too much about, um, this probably is going to be a sim for you. It's it's 10 bucks. Like, it, it's not hugely expensive. Don't expect a lot for it, uh, for your money. The, these The developers specialize in iOS and, and like, you know, um, Android apps and stuff like that. So, um, and that design influence is very visible um, in this uh, in this, um, in this this PC title here as well. Uh, but look, it, you know, as I said, if you don't take it too seriously um, for less than 10 bucks, it's probably not too bad. Um, it's got a few, it's getting some really mixed reviews on here. Like a lot of people don't like it. Some people really like it. Uh, but as I said, it's fairly basic. It's just go out, bash a bit around, and have a bit of fun. And just remember that you're basically playing a slightly upgraded graphics version of Need for Speed without the story mode. So, yeah, I I'm going to leave it at that. I'm not going to get it, but it it's something that you want to have a little bit of interest in. It's not looking too shabby considering the price. So there you go. Uh, as I said, uh, 10 US dollars on its launch special for 750 at the moment. Our original equivalent available now on Steam. 
All right, and a round, and uh, well, not not quite rounding out yet, but continuing on with the simulation news this week. Uh, moving on to something a little bit different. So, City Skylines. So, City Skylines released a, a new piece of DLC. We haven't seen, haven't seen a piece of DLC from them for a while. Um, so, this is the their Pearls from the East DLC. Uh, so, this one is basically um, gives you three new uh, buildings uh, for to add to your the landmarks to add to your city. Uh, so, this gives you the Shanghai Pearl Tower, uh, a Chinese temple, which looks very suspiciously like uh, the Forbidden City, uh, and a a panda zoo, so you can add pandas uh, to your city. Um, and who really could go wrong with adding pandas to a city? I mean, really. Um, the best part about this, this is a free DLC, this is a free update um, to City Skylines, so, you know, you don't have to worry about forking out for it, so if you're an existing user of City Skylines, um, this has already been added to your Steam library, it's been resynced and added to your account. Uh, but, as I said, looks kind of cool, kind of quirky and as I said who can go past like sleepy cute pandas like who can go past them they're really cute like yeah anyway uh, so yes new piece of DLC from Skitty Skylines good to know that they're still working on it still developing this title because uh, I always enjoyed City Skylines I never did do a series on it but maybe one day I'll get to it but I did quite enjoy this uh, this sim uh, but yes available now uh, on Steam for free available now Alright, and finally, rounding out the simulation release news for this week, um, the guys over at Playway Simulations have released um, a new, again, a free piece of DLC for 911 Operator. This is their first response um, DLC, so this is a free update to the title. Um, now, this gives you um, some new calls, some new emergencies, so some new voice... Um, voice interactions uh, to go through as your experience as a 911 operator as well as uh, two new um, units to recruit um, so you've got a firefighting quad, quad bike uh, and a police on horseback so a mounted police unit um, along with a couple of new um, equipment a couple of some more equipment uh, to equip your uh, your uh, first responders with including a firefighter breathing mask um, to pretty good, uh, firefighter breathing mask chest compression system and a fire extinguisher have all been added um, to the inventory for you to purchase and equip your first responders with. Um, just on a side note, I do also just want to touch on, I did speak with the developers on this one, and um, the complaint that I had was the, the the day one DLC release, the paid day, day one DLC release. I did find out, they did let me know um, that the reason why that DLC is a paid piece of DLC on, that, on the, that day one launch is it was actually part of the Kickstarter campaign. It was actually basically the collector's edition kind of thing. If you paid a certain amount on the Kickstarter, you got the day one DLC, so it was actually in plenty for a while and just got to read between the lines even they think they messed up with that they shouldn't have they should have just included it all as one price so yeah just mm, yeah uh, anyway well, we'll let that one go but it was a requirement of the Kickstarter campaign so FYI on that one guys anyway but as I said I still recommend this title I think it's amazing go get it go see my review um, on the on 911 operator because as I said I think it's an amazingly awesome title excellent to get Alright, all right, folks, thanks very much. That does round out the simulation news for this week. Thank you very much for joining me. But before I go, I have a very important announcement to make. Um, for those who've been following my channel for a while, you will know that I uh, last year I took a sojourn over to Flight Sim Con in the US. And I would like to confirm that once again this year, I will be in attendance at Flight Sim Con 2017 over in Hartford in the United States. Um, so uh, it's, it is an amazing, awesome venue it really is it's a great chance to actually for for us uh, for especially for flight simulation um, um uh, flight simulation enthusiasts to get together and 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 you know chat and actually you know enjoy each other's company and experiences um, that we all have and to be able to meet people from all over the world it really is a great opportunity. Um, it's being held over June 10 and 11, um, as I said at um, at Bradley International Airport or the Sheraton Hotel at Bradley International Airport in Windsor Locks, um, in Connecticut in the US. So I, uh, as I said, I would just like to confirm to everybody I am definitely going to be there. Really excited to be uh, to be uh, to be confirmed that I am going to be there. It's going to be awesome to, uh, to see you guys again I had a great time last year I'm looking forward to meeting even more of you again this year and as I said if you thought about going it is a great opportunity there's going to be some amazing um, there's going to be some amazing speakers there um, representatives from all the developer the world and the really cool thing is that this is for the first time we're actually going to have all of the major simulation platform developers are going to be represented there. So we're going to be having, um, we're going to have Lockheed Martin are going to be there representing for uh, Prepared 3D and it's, uh, and it's continuing evolution. We're going to be having um, Laminar Flow, we're going to be there for representing for X-Plane and its ongoing development and we're going to be having Dovetail Games going to be there uh, representing obviously the ongoing uh, maintenance maintenance of F6 uh, and F6 is 
of 16 edition and their upcoming flight simulator as well coming out uh, later this year so it's going to be really great and if you ever want a chance to actually sort of meet and speak with the developers this is a great chance um, Orbix are always in attendance Aerosoft are going to be there as well um, a huge amount of developers great chance to go along and see what's uh, going on in the uh, in the simulation world so I encourage you all to come along really looking forward to it look for some more information about Flight SimCon 2017 coming on this channel very shortly but as I said I just want to confirm confirm to everybody yes I am going to be there and I'm so excited to be there as well so looking forward to seeing you there all right folks that does wrap it up this for this week thank you very much for joining me don't forget as always to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying these videos and want to see more and of course as always you can catch up with me and all the things i'm up to between videos by finding me on facebook and on twitter just search novawing24 all right folks thanks very much for watching take care safe skies to all and we'll see you next time bye for now